of the church. but unconscious. Hartlett's too smart to carry any dangerous evidence. Look what I found. This card may be a clue we can use. Pete, he's the mechanic that phoned to Bartlett. Let's get him back to his flying field. We may get enough evidence there to smash his racket. Take a look at that flyer I had to knock out with a gas gun. and be none the worse. This is what I hope to find. Evidence of how they made their incendiary bombs. This should convince even the district attorney. Carry this to the car. Hello? Hello. Is the district attorney home? No, we'll be back in a half an hour. Any message? No, no message. I'm bringing someone to see him. Uh, who is it? Oh, well, if you don't wish to give the name. stolen the plane. No, he's still around. It's too tough for me. I'm getting out. You better do the same. Yeah, I know, but he said that... Never mind what he said. Beat it while you got the chance. Oh. And keep under cover. Hello? Yeah, this is Ogden. This is Pete. The Green Hornet just caught Bartlett. He's taking the DA's home. Bartlett won't talk. Yeah, but he's got part of one of those bombs we've been using to burn the ships. Well, never mind. Get back to the Meadows garage and lay low. Dean, get a hold of Corey and a couple of boys and take him down to the car right away. Yeah. <laughs> Stand by. I 
want to see the district attorney. He's not in. Stop lying and take me to him. Green Hornet. Keep away from that phone till you hear what I have to say. What do you want? To bring a racketeer and murderer to justice. This is Phil Bartlett, owner of the Flying School. His racket was to enroll students, insure them in the planes, and send them up in ships that were fixed to crash and burn. Of course, you can prove your charges. You'll find parts of an incendiary bomb in here. There are more in a locker out at the Flying School. I'd advise you to send men out there to pick them up before they've been removed. I suppose your object in bringing this man to justice is to eliminate a dangerous rival. Perhaps. But the only thing that concerns you is that I brought him. <laughs> What you to say about this, Bartlett? Nothing, except I'm not going to take the rap for long. Who's in this with you? I'll talk at the right time. Mr. District Attorney, I'm lining up your case, I wish you'd see that Miss Josephine Weaver receives the insurance money she's been cheated out of by Bartlett and his associates. And don't forget to send men to the flying field to pick up those bombs. You can also find a man tied up out there who's just as guilty as Bartlett. <laughs> this is the District Attorney speaking. Send a squad car to the Bartlett Flying Field immediately. Close the field and hold anybody you find there until I arrive. And send a radio car to my house. I've got the Green Hornet here. I admire a public official with courage. Calling car 92, calling car 92. Go to the district attorney's home. The Green Hornet is there. Worry that is all. Well, good luck with your case. I'm sure that breaking up another racket will greatly benefit your future political career. Oh, don't go. There are two or three things I'd like to ask you. All right, you two fellows cover the front and back. Come on, Corey. Sorry, but you'll have to get the rest of the information from Bartlett, since you insisted on calling the police. Not a sound out of you. Hold it, everyone. Now we're going to see who you really are, Mr. Green Hornet. Tram, the police! And so the Sentinel busts another racket. You mean the Green Hornet did? It's about time he was being given some of the credit. Oh, tell it the district attorney. The Sentinel busted this racket and it's going to bust others. Well, since the Sentinel started his campaign, people have written in by the hundreds telling of rackets and abuses. Look at those letters. Take this one, for instance. Why not look into the parking lot racket? Cars are damaged, even stolen. Gas is drained from tanks. Packages and equipment are taken. That's something for you to look into, Jenks. Oh, that's small-time stuff. The police can handle that. Well, the police would if they could. But the parking lot owners avoid responsibility of any kind by posting signs, legal or not. Oh, we're after bigger game. Most of the complaints concern one particular lot, the Meadow Park lot, especially in regards to cars disappearing. Perhaps I'll take a look at that one myself. I feel like I've been missing a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't get your nose punched, boss. Well, it hasn't been punched for some time. Might do it some good. Say, find Axford for me and tell me to bring around on my old car and his car, too. Okay? Why not let Jenks handle this? Oh, his heart isn't in it. Besides, I want to play some. I'm going to take Michael with me. Now, I know you'll be heading into trouble. Well, I hope you're right. Too bad about Bartlett. But at least he didn't get a chance to talk and involve us. Have you heard anything from the chief about it? No, not yet, but I'm expecting to. There he is. Yes? Who's there? Monroe and Ogden. The Hornet is crippling our syndicate. I want the take in all lines stepped up. I'm offering $5,000 to the man who puts the Hornet out of business. Pass the word along. Five grand? The boys will sure get busy when they hear about that. How long will you be? A couple of hours.
All right, Corey, I got a hot one for you. The owner spotted him in his trailer. Here's a license number. All right, I'll pick up break at the corner and go after him. What's the idea? You flame spalpeen! I teach you to look where you're going. You think you will? Say, buddy, I'd like to see the driver that just drove that sedan in. No sedan come in here. Well, that's funny. I thought sure I saw one come in here. I'd have seen it if it had, wouldn't I? Yeah, I guess you would have. Is the boss in? No, he's out of town. He'll be back next week. Well, I don't suppose that you saw a sedan come in here either. You're supposing right, mister. <laughs> well, I guess there must have been a mistake. Thanks. Who is that guy? I've heard his voice before. You got me. His face is familiar, but I can't place him. Do you think he's a detective? So what? He didn't see anything, did he? Well, what happened to your friends? They run off. One of them yelled to the other that you was Britt Reed. And about that time, I tripped over the curb. Did you get their license number? By golly, I did not. Well, never mind. I did, but I don't think it'll do as much good. Come on, get in. Oh, did you find your car? No. What do we do? We'll report that the police is stolen. What do you usually do? Sure, my car went into that garage, Cato. I'm doubly sure since I recognized Pete there. You mean the mechanic who escaped from the airfield? Yes. They must have some quick way of hiding stolen cars, and I mean to find out what it is. You mean the Green Hornet will find out? Yes, Cato. The Green Hornet rides tonight. Cato, you stand by. Who 
goes out here. Take your hand off that light switch and come over here. Green Hornet. Right. What do you want? Information. About what? Where do you hide your stolen cars? I don't know nothing about stolen cars. You're lying. Hold on, Green Hornet. I'm going to beat it. It's too tough for me. Cato, he's too valuable to escape. Thank you. 